Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? Nick Nikai here. Let's Drift Media. Thank you for coming back to the channel. So, today's episode, I'm finally going to kind of talk about my new daily driver. Been meaning to do this episode for a while. I've had this car for like three months now, but I haven't had time to film the video. So, I wanted to kind of just show you guys the car and check it out. So, here we got my 2017 Lexus CT 200H. on the way to Wrightwood pretty much really like this spot though the rocks in the background very nice very nice it's a little bit windy right now so I'll just show you kind of the outside of it and then we can step inside and talk about it a little bit but this is a great car I've driven almost 10,000 miles on it and I freaking love it guys a lot of you guys know I was driving a 2013 Prius before this as a daily driver. Great car, very great car, but very ugly, very ugly car. Hopefully the wind's not too loud. Um, yeah, but yeah, I really like the Prius. I just hated being a guy in a Prius. For those of you guys who don't know, this actually has the 1NZ FXE, I believe, uh, which is the same motor that was in my last Prius. So I wanted something a little bit more stylish, uh, but same fuel economy. So this thing is rocking, especially with gas being at like $6.20 now. Can't afford it. I don't want to afford it. Oh yeah, I realize it is very windy right here. It's probably not the best spot to film a video, but anyways, here we are. Hopefully you guys heard what I said, but uh, yeah, I went from the Prius to driving this. Uh, this is a 2017 with about 59,000 miles uh, F Sport package, and I got it for about 27 grand. So I believe Blue Book value is around there, so I pretty much paid for what the car is worth, but yeah, I really like this car. I really like the styling of the exterior and it just feels so sporty when you're driving it. Like the suspension's pretty stiff honestly for a Lexus. It's got a lot of the nice features so coming into the cabin right here, terrible lighting. Um, yeah, the, just, everything in here is pretty nice so I'll just kind of show you guys. Uh, one cool thing when you put it into power mode, we got this little switch right here. You want to go eco, sport. Uh, it kind of gives you a tack on the left, turns the lights red right there, and we even got like a little red light up here. So when you're driving at night, it kind of just sets the ambiance a little bit nicer. Even though it's a CVT, so the tack is kind of stupid because it just kind of stays wherever, but at least kind of makes you feel like you're in a little bit more of a sporty car. Power windows, auto up, auto down, of course. We got comfort access on the side, so the door handle, you don't even need the key. You just use a smart key, and uh, as soon as you grab the handle, it unlocks it, which is pretty cool, and you can also lock it just by tapping the exterior of the handle. So it's kind of cool, because you can just leave your keys in your pocket all the time, so I really got used to not really using a key, which is nice. Leather steering wheel, just feels super nice. Got the little F-Sport here, little F-Sport badge. Let you know you spent more money than you needed to. Um, radio, pretty decent. We got navigation as well. Even though I don't really use the navigation, I really don't use much of the features on the radio besides the Bluetooth. But it kind of is cool sometimes when you're traveling in like areas you don't really know and you can kind of zoom in and just see the streets coming up. That makes life a little bit easier, but I pretty much just use it for the Bluetooth. The sound system on this is pretty amazing. Um, coming over here, we got our climate control, volume, seat heaters is super nice. Um, I like driving with the seat heaters, heaters on when it's cold and when the window's down. That's just something I like to do. We got the push to start, just like the Prius. Um, 
One thing I do like about this, uh, a lot of newer cars, or at least luxury cars, Lexus considered luxury, they kind of steer away from having actual knobs and push buttons for like climate control, temperature, and the radio. And I like being able to just turn it down really quick if I need to, or just kind of like turn the air on without going through all these settings in the touch screen. Like that really bothers me. So that's one thing I like about this car. It's got like enough techie stuff, but it's not like too techie where like everything's built into the screen and everything's touch screen. And you gotta like tap the volume like 50 times to turn the volume up or down or just turn the radio off. Um, yeah, so I really like that. Uh, space inside here, decently roomy. I'm about six foot and this thing is pretty roomy for me. I'm really not that fat though. These seats kind of grip me pretty tight. So if you're a big boy, this might be kind of like a tight, tight fit for you guys. Back seats, however, though, there is like no leg room. I've had people here in the back and it was just really crappy. Like their knees were like against the seat. Um, not that roomy for the back. The Prius was a lot more roomier for sure. Uh, this is kind of like a squeezed down version of the Prius, but again, it doesn't look as ugly as a Prius, which is the main reason I wanted this vehicle. And the fact that I'm getting 37 miles to the gallon on average, it's pretty damn good considering I'm like usually on the freeway going like 75 to 85 miles an hour. I think they rate it at like 40, 43 miles per gallon. But uh, if you have a heavy foot like me and you're trying to go, then usually your mileage isn't that great. But 37 still to me is really good. Uh, like I said, especially with gas prices right now, they're like insane. So that was like one big reason too, I wanted to get another hybrid. I didn't even want to get rid of the Prius, but my sister needed a car. So I gave her the Prius and then just went out and bought this or financed it so I could have a nicer car. Um, or else I probably would have still had the Prius because that car was really great, guys. As much shit as people talk about the Prius, that car is an awesome car. Great on gas, very reliable, parts are cheap, and you get a whole lot of cabin space and cargo space if you need to bring stuff. Like I brought my whole US General tool cart in the Prius, just folded the seats down and plopped the toolbox in here, in there. In here, it might fit, but I don't know, cause that trunk is a little bit tiny. But yeah, that's pretty much the inside. Uh, we got moonroof, of course. Very nice moonroof action. I'll go ahead and go back outside. Hopefully you guys can hear me, cause I know it's very windy. A lot of people complain about the audio when there's wind or echo, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. Oh uh, yeah. In the front, we got a nice little LED strip right here, which is pretty cool. The headlights are uh, halogen though, so they're a little bit yellow. I'm probably gonna get some HIDs for that pretty soon so they match, as well as the fog lights. Uh, I did tint the windows already. I went 50% on the front, 15% on the front sides, and 5% limo on the back. So it is pretty dark. You can't really see in there, through the back windows at least. Through the front, you kind of can. And the windshield though, a lot of the times, people really can't see in there, depending on how the sun's hitting. So I haven't got pulled over yet, knock on wood. Hopefully I don't. Usually the cops in my area don't really care since it's so damn hot out here. Uh, also put these window visors on, just so when I smoke in the car or vape, it uh, doesn't get all hot box that fast. And I really like these window visors. It's actually something I've wanted since like I had my first car, which was like a 96 Honda Civic. I've always thought these visors were really cool. But I wanted to make this video now while the car is pretty much stock because I already ordered coilovers and wheels for this vehicle. Because even though it's a, a daily, it's pretty much a Prius, a hybrid. Why are you going to fix it up? I still think these things look really good. Lowered a little bit on some nice wheels. Not going to slam it, of course, because it is my daily driver. But just go a little bit lower and have a little bit more handling, even though this thing handles very nicely already. One cool thing too with the S-Sport, you get the black top, which I really liked, as well as the black ceiling interior. I believe the non-F-Sports, they're all tan up top, the same with the pillar covers, so it's kind of cool to get it more blacked out. Again, just adds kind of to that sportier look. So go and check out the back. So the comfort access right here, 
this little knob right here or this little touch sensor tap it the car will lock right now the engine's on because i'm running the ac but yeah so you can see coming to the back move this stuff over there is not that much space if i step in here being someone who's about six foot tall that's what you're gonna look like in the back of one of these so definitely not if you're like bringing passengers all the time this kind of wouldn't be like a comfortable road trip car at least for the people in the back but up front honestly plenty of freaking room this is actually a little bit better angle than what I was showing you guys earlier. But I really do love this car. I will say I love it. Jesus. Um, it's just stylish, comfortable, and makes sense. That's pretty much the main reason I wanted it. I have been eyeing these for a while since I did start to like the Prius and I heard, or I remember these having the same engine working at Toyota. And I was like, you know what? Why not just drive a Prius that doesn't look like a Prius? Like an undercover Prius is what I call it. Or a fancy Prius. Well, another thing I forgot to mention was it has this cool little mouse thingy right here. And it kind of has like some haptic feedback. So like when there's certain buttons on the screen, it kind of clicks to whichever button or whatever option you're selecting so I don't know if you can tell but you can feel it and then when you're on the map it's just kind of free-flowing so it's kind of cool it feels like a mouse almost so just very comfortable I mean like I said really I don't really use it too much because I just hook up my phone to Bluetooth and control the music through my phone full power seats pretty much power everything cruise control Enough features, but not too much. I do wish it had a blind spot monitor. That would be kind of nice, because sometimes these blind spots, these back little windows right here, they're pretty tiny. And when you have the headrest up on the back seats, sometimes it makes it a little bit hard to tell, especially since I got this dark ass tint driving at night. I have to like really check to make sure there's no cars in the other lane before I get over. But usually I just drive with the seats down because uh, I'll carry stuff in the back, like golf clubs or something and yeah i usually just have the seats down since i don't really have passengers back there and it's just easier to load stuff in the back and i don't have to worry about damaging the seats anything like that does have a backup camera as well which is pretty good i've never had a backup camera i really don't feel like i need it that much but it kind of is cool to have just to have i guess so you can see behind you For the hatch you can see decent room but really not that much room unless you have the seats folded down you really don't get that much space back here but i mean i'm really not really bringing too much i just kind of have like an emergency bag here some extra work boots uh every now and then i'll carry my golf clubs back here in my golf bag i'll just fold down the seats and just have it right there but they a golf bag with clubs will not fit wide across at least not a full size set mine didn't in the prius i was able to lay a golf bag across all the way so that was pretty nice so i didn't have to sacrifice my seats back there but yeah fun little car very small very uh maneuverable can park in a lot of small spaces since it's very small and i just really like how it looks i love hatchbacks and i love lexus and damn this thing looks good in white so yeah that's pretty much it i mean i'm not really like a car reviewer type youtuber uh, those of you guys who follow my channel you know this but i just want to show you the new whip some people had asked to see it because they're interested in actually buying one i think it's a great car i mean it's a toyota so you can't go wrong and to me it just looks amazing it looks very cool it's very sporty but i just want to show you guys before i uh, modify it put the wheels on coilovers and pretty much change how it looks just wanted to have this video so i can go back and look at it when it was stock 
So, yeah guys, that's it. Drop a comment, let me know what you guys think of this car. Would you purchase it, would you not? Would you drive this thing? But, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!